Hello, Lake Grove. For our devotional today from the reservoir, we are in um, Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, specifically for today. But the big question that is before us is this. Is change actually possible? Are we able to see this grand and beautiful vision of who God has called us to be? Do you remember these questions? What do we think of God? Wow, such a good, generous, sovereign, loving Lord. And what is our picture of ourselves, one created in the image of God? Beautifully made, wonderfully so, by God himself. But can we actually live into that vision? It sure can be discouraging to think that that's even possible. When we feel like maybe we have too settled a pattern into our habits. When we see too much tragedy and trauma on the news and it doesn't take us too long to look into our own lives to realize, wow, I really hoped I would have been able to be better, do better. God, is change possible? Asking that question, listen to these two verses. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, why, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. That is the ending of Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. When we are stuck, maybe feeling like change is not possible, remember this glorious image of being surrounded by all those who have gone before us. They weren't perfect people. I know for a fact they had their moments wondering, was change even possible? Do you ever feel like maybe they just had different abilities than we did? More faith, more that, whatever is needed? They were human beings like you and I, given to times of encouragement and discouragement. This scripture reminds us, you know what? It's actually not even on the question. The question isn't, is change possible? It's, yes, it is. Hang in there. You can do it. The Lord with you. What we do is we fix our eyes on God who is running ahead of us, who has shown us the way, and we can put our feet right into that path and take great encouragement from those who have gone before us. One of the gifts of all those people who've gone before us is to see their journey, how they made it, how they went through there. Is change possible? We got to see some of them change. And over the next couple of weeks, you're going to be able to see those examples up close. I want to share a little kind of a poem, but a reminder of this with the disciples. Not even Jesus found the ready. Jesus called Nathaniel. Nathaniel lacked openness. Nathaniel wasn't ready. Jesus called Philip. Philip lacked simplicity. Philip wasn't ready. Jesus called Simon the zealot. Simon lacked nonviolence. Simon wasn't ready. Jesus called Andrew. Andrew lacked a sense of risk. Andrew wasn't ready. Jesus called Thomas. Thomas lacked vision. Thomas wasn't ready. Jesus called Judas. Judas lacked spiritual maturity. Judas was definitely not ready. Jesus called Matthew. Matthew lacked a sense of social sin. Matthew wasn't ready. Jesus called Thaddeus. Thaddeus lacked commitment. Thaddeus wasn't ready. Jesus called James the lesser. James lacked awareness. James wasn't ready. Jesus called James and John the sons of thunder.
James and John lacked a sense of servanthood. James and John were not ready. Jesus called Peter the rock. Peter lacked courage. Peter was not ready. The point, you see, is that Jesus doesn't call the ready. Jesus calls the willing. That is a reflection from Ronald Rollheiser. And as you ponder and pour through the Gospels, you'll see, and that was his interpretation of ways they were ready or not ready. But you and I know we can see how we're not ready. I bet if you look back, you can see ways that, yes, I was not ready then, but look how have I have grown now. Is change possible? Yes. Because God is always calling. And God does not call to impossible things. And God will help us. Our pioneer and perfecter, God is with us. Bless you on your journey in this Lake Grove. We're in it together.